Hello, Divination, and welcome. This is pretty much a video on a guide to understanding and using Divi's fixed position. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. All right, so um, let me show you where you can find the positioning settings. So right now, what I've done is I just created a page and uh, we are inside the builder here. So uh, let's just add a module so I can show you where things are. So you can add any module to be honest. So in this case, I'm just gonna use an image module. So I'm gonna go ahead and select it. And then we're just gonna choose an email here from our library. So I'm gonna go with, uh, I'm just trying to look for a image which is quite small. Okay, let's go with this one here. So I'm gonna click upload an image. And there we go, here's our image. But like I said, you can use the positioning uh, elements pretty much anywhere on any module. So to find out where the positioning settings are, you need to come over here to the advanced tab, click on position, and you can see here it says default. But when you click on this drop down now, you're going to have relative, absolute, and fixed. So the position here, which is uh, basically the default one, that's the static. Okay, that's the static, which means since it stays in its normal floor of order of elements on the page, they don't respond to the top, right, bottom or left properties like the other positioned elements do, which I'll show you in a moment. So in Divi, when we choose the default position for a module, we are choosing the static position. So just bear that in mind. Okay, that is very, very important. So now let's move on to the next one, which is the relative. So if I click on this drop down, we notice that we have this relative positioning and it also has this offset origin and we can also place this element here on these different corners. So relatively positioned elements are kind of static elements in that they follow the normal flow of the page. The main difference is they are relatively positioned elements that can be positioned using the top, bottom, left or right properties unlike static elements. So that's the main difference here. So you can position them over here, over here, or over here, okay? Now let's move on to the next one. And over here, if I click on this drop down, we have absolute. So absolute is a um, positioned element that breaks out of the normal document flow, and therefore no actual space is created on the page for that element. So we can think of this as an element that is floating on the top of another element on the page that takes up actual space. Okay, so I know it sounds very confusing, but again, just like um, the relative positioning here, we also have positions here where we can set our image. So you can see here right away when I select this one here, it has gone to the middle. Okay, and then if I do that, it's going to position itself to the bottom. And you can see now I can't even do anything on the page here because it's stuck to the bottom. OK, so you can choose where you want this to be. So think of it as an element that is floating on top of other elements on the page that takes up actual space. OK, it will be positioned relative to the nearest position parent container. And that is also very, very important. All right. So let's move on to the next one. In fact, let me just change my positioning here. Now, let's move on to the fixed positioning. Now, this one here is uh, one of my favorite. Now, as it suggests, Fixed is like uh, absolute position elements which are fixed in a position and will break out of the normal flow of the page and have no actual space created within the page. The key difference here is between the absolute and fixed is that the fixed position is relative to the browser window or viewport. In other words, no matter where the element is within the flow of the page, once it's given a fixed position, its position will now directly relate to the browser's window. Okay, so this is very, very important. So as you can see here, where our location is on the top left, so we can set it here to the center. We can also come over here or we can set it to the bottom of the page. So this is the main, 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 main difference. So we can use the top, bottom, left, right uh, properties to position the element within the viewport because the fixed elements will often hover behind or in front of the elements on the page. So you do need to go in and adjust your Z index, which is over here. So let's say the elements on your page. Now this is, uh, for example, behind something or above something. You can just uh, use the Z index to position your element and make sure that it's in place. 
Now, there's also something else I need to mention here regarding these uh, positioning elements. So um, these also work in mobile views. So if I come over here and click on this little icon, I can also choose my positioning based on the tablet, mobile phone, or the desktop. So over here, you can see on my location here is in the middle. So if I go to my tablet, I can also change that and say, okay, I want this to the left. And then on the phone, you could say, okay, I want this to the top. So you can see here how powerful this is. And it's important that you uh, choose whichever positioning uh, that is that you want to use on your page that makes your uh, page look beautiful. So here, this also works in uh, relative. It also works in pretty much um, absolute and so on. So it is very, very powerful. So make sure as you're designing your page, you go into these different uh, tabs here to see how everything looks on your page. All right, guys. So basically, this is uh, all I have uh, regarding the positioning. And this is the key differences. And uh, this should give you an idea of how to use these in Divi. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.